Hi guys, I'm back and it is time to unbox our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So for those of you who aren't aware, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is a monthly makeup subscription. Ipsy has a bunch of different tiers right now. Uh, something maybe I should mention sooner rather than later is we do have a new friend in our families. Roxy, come here. Hi, I don't know how much you can see here. I'll make sure to include some cute pictures here pretty soon. Uh, but we did adopt a dog. And so if the audio has like a lot of heavy breathing, I, I'm okay. It's not like a stalker or anything. It's just our dog. She's a little bit of a Velcro dog. So she'll probably be joining us in our videos a lot. <laughs> okay, you're gonna help me unbox. Oh, sorry, she's upset because I'm not, I'm not petting her. I stopped petting her. I had the audacity. Anyways. Uh, we're filming a video. Uh, they have a couple different tiers of uh, bags now and they have, God, I think they, they have, I haven't been keeping up with like all that they've been doing as far as like what they've been selling. I just know I keep getting a bunch of ads and emails to buy more stuff that I'm just not interested in because, Roxy, <laughs> sorry if the camera's a little lopsided sometimes. It's Roxy and her big old tail. Anyways, so let's get down to it. This is the like middle tier that we're unboxing today. Uh, there's the normal Ipsy Glam Bag, which has five sample size products. Sometimes they're like deluxe or full size, but most of them are going to be sample size. We have the Plus, which we are unboxing today, which all your items are gonna be full size. And then you have the Ultimate, which there are 12 items. Some of them are full size, some of them are sample size. So I like to do the mid tier one just because I do enjoy the full size products as opposed to the sample size products. Uh, but other than that, oh, I guess something else I should also mention is Ipsy does let you choose which products up to a certain extent that you'll get in your Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. It's different from the normal Glam Bag. I believe from the normal Glam Bag, you only get to pick one and I have no idea about Ultimate. So anyway, I did pick three out of the five items in this bag and the other two were picked for me. And let's go ahead and dive on in. So this is what the design looks this month. It's kind of like a leaf design like i feel like if you took a leaf and zoomed in on a microscope that's what this design is Let's see. anyways oh and we're actually going to look at the card first today this month's theme is wanderlust so it says recharge reset and go off the grid discover rare new ingredients go wild with manis try techniques that soothe your skin and your mind your greatest adventure starts with you <laughs> oh her dog is such a goofball she's rolling on the ground right now uh, otherwise, uh, inside of this card says five notes to transport your senses. And by notes, they mean like scent notes. And they're talking about sea salt, neroli, sandalwood, coconut water, and lang lang. Uh, anyways, that's cool. Roxy, do you want a toy? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you'd play with that. She's like, why do you just throw something at me? Anyways, let's look at our first product, which I believe I chose this one. It is the Vitabrid C12 Daily C Balancing Foam Cleanser. This is what that looks like. We'll go ahead and open the box and give it a good sniff to see if there's any sort of fragrance to it. It is, let's see, on the bottle here, it says that a powerful proprietary blend of Vitabrid CG gently removes impurities and dead skin cells without stripping away the skin's moisture. And yeah, okay. We'll make sure to try this bad boy out. It is dermatologically tested. Ooh, it has maybe some vague notes of citrus in there and something else that I can't quite place. Otherwise, let's look at the next product in our bag this month, which, let's see, it is the Skin and Lab E Plus Moisturizer. So I do, believe I chose this as well. It is a premium daily moisturizer infused with vitamin E that thoroughly hydrates, plumps, and brightens the skin. So this is what that box looks like. We'll go ahead and smell this bad boy too. It doesn't, it has mostly just like a, it's mostly unscented, maybe just a little bit of like, you know, fresh lab, not lab spa, like a fresh spa scent, just ever so vaguely, but nothing very strong. 
The next item, uh, I believe I chose this as well. I actually don't remember what I chose, but I did chose bird shoes. But anyways, this is the Rowan Liquid Lip Balm. Uh, and I think, I don't know, it's called like Kiss, and then it says My, and then it says period. And, but I believe the brand is Roan and the color is Scout. So that's what it looks like on the box. It's gonna be darker. I was interested in this cause it said it was a liquid lip, but then it said it was a balm. And this time of year, if you know me, um, you know that I really enjoy balms and like lip glosses because putting on actual lippies is a lot of work for this Texas heat and humidity. We'll go ahead and give this guy a swatch. This is what the brush looks like. Okay, I can see why this might be a balm because this isn't very thick. Like that was a couple swipes. So it would add just like a little bit of color to your face, but not too much. And then let's see. Oh, this next one I know they chose for me. It is the Duce Posh Powder Palette. It is a palette full of blushes, which I haven't gotten recently. So I ain't mad about it. I've definitely been shying away from the actual like makeup products and more towards like skincare. So I could see why Ipsy would be like, hey, um, let's give you some actual makeup because we are kind of a makeup subscription. So it looks like this is uh, blushes as well as some highlighters, as well as maybe one of those might be a setting. Let's see, what does it say on the back? Doesn't say, it just says these are face blush and highlighter palettes. So we'll go ahead and swatch these. So this is what it looks like swatched. The top three are the highlighters, the bottom three are the blushes. Those are some hella dark blushes. I don't know about those, but I will go ahead and give it the old college try and go from there. And now on to the last product. It is the Skylar Clean Beauty Salt Air. It looks like it is a roll on perfume with notes of driftwood, seaweed, and sea salt. So I know I've been getting a lot of misses as far as like perfumes go from Ipsy. I think the only perfume I've ever enjoyed from Ipsy was one that they probably gave out in one of the very first Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. Uh, but you know, I'm always intrigued when they send a perfume out. Um, mostly I prefer florally perfumes, but we'll go ahead and give this a good try. Actually, okay, that first sniff was kind of nice. I kind of really like that. This one might actually stay in my collection. I would not think that salt air would be my scent, but maybe it is, oh goodness. Oh, okay, I really like this one. Um, thumbs up from me. I'm definitely gonna wear it uh, throughout today. We're gonna go to Costco and run some errands and I'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day, but I really like this scent. Now, if you've made it this far and you watch my Ipsy videos, you know that this is the part where I like to talk about the products I got last month and give you my review now that I've had about a month or so to try them out. So the first one was the Silk Pillow Sheet. I don't think it necessarily helped my skin, but I do know it is supposed to help your hair to prevent breakage and whatnot. And my hair seems to be doing pretty okay. Some people I know don't like silk pillowcases because they say they get really, really hot. And I didn't find that to be the issue, but I am definitely acclimated to like, going outside and working in a 100 degree Texas summer heat with like 100% humidity. So maybe I'm not the best judge of that. Either way, I wasn't too angry about getting a pillowcase in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, mixing it up, different products. So I'm all about it. The next one was a moisturizer, which I actually transplanted into my Murad moisturizer, like squeezy thing that I got forever ago, just because I realized I could clean that out and put other moisturizers in it and then you just tap. Anyway, I'll try to I'll try to put in a picture of both the moisturizer and the Murad container that I'm talking about. Um, I do like the moisturizer, if I remember correctly. I don't think this one had probiotics in it. I think this one had vitamin C in it. Um, my face seemed to be doing all right. Um, I did mention in last month's that I've been dealing with a lot of breakouts lately and I was trying to figure out what the causes are of that. I do suffer from hormonal acne, but it felt like last month, the combination of products I was using was just like making my face just 
explode. And right now I'm definitely wearing my mask a lot more than I was in the previous months, just because the case numbers are really, really high uh, in this part of Texas. So it could be a multitude of factors causing my breakouts. Um, I do think I did have less breakouts last month with using this new combination of products, but it's a little hard to tell. Anyways, I enjoyed the moisturizer. It wasn't as thick as I normally like my night moisturizers, but it was a good moisturizer. The next product was, I actually got two moisturizers last month. So this is, uh, technically this is more of a sunscreen, but it, they're calling it a moisturizer by Juice Beauty. So this is a mineral sunscreen, which this is really great for if you're going out and swimming because this type of sunscreen is not going to come off of your body and then pollute the water. If you are aware, if you've ever gone to somewhere tropical, you might've seen signs about what types of sunscreen you're supposed to be using. And part of that is because if you don't use a mineral-based sunscreen, uh, when you go into those waters, all your sunscreen falls off of you and into the water, and you're literally just like leaking oil into the ecosystem. And that has a really damaging effect on coral reefs. So I was really excited once I realized this is a mineral-based sunscreen. This does kind of give you like a pasty Victorian look, but you are, I mean, generally it's recommended by dermatologists that you wear a sunscreen on your face every day anyway. I didn't think this was super moisturizing, but this time of year, I don't really have a beef with that because I'm sweating so much. <laughs> this, if I tried using this in the winter, I would probably have to put another moisturizer on top of this just because it gets, it can get really dry here in the winter. Uh, otherwise not mad about this. The next product I wanna talk about is this high IQ cannabis eye gel. I liked it. There were a couple times where it felt like I might've had a little bit of like a minor burning sensation underneath my eyes, but that could also just be from sun exposure or whatever else was going on with my hormones. So who really knows? Um, maybe that like minor burning sensation I would feel sometimes is just the product working. I don't know. Um, I am mad about it. And then the next product is the mascara, which I am wearing it on my eyelashes right now, which mascara is with me. Like some people look at my eyes and they're like, what, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm, I just have naturally gifted lashes. Like, I don't know what else to say. Uh, what I liked about the idea of this mascara is the brush was super, it was kind of dainty. It was great for just like that everyday makeup look if you didn't want super, dramatic eyelashes or anything like that. What I did not foresee being an issue is this is not waterproof. And there were multiple times where I would wear this mascara and I would start sweating and all, oh God, my face is just a horror show. So this might be a better winter mascara, but I ain't mad about it. It's not bad. I still like it for an everyday look, uh, but I probably won't be touching that bad boy again until like November. And then lastly, I don't normally talk about the add-on products that I get with my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but I thought I'd go ahead and talk about this one. I got a set of Koki full cover foundations. This is one of them. This is the lighter shade that I got. I also got a darker shade, but I actually finished that up and threw it away. So I ended up using this lighter shade. It's more of like a concealer and around, I did just a little bit of contouring with like the different shades. These are very matte that I've noticed on my skin. Um, you definitely, if you have any sort of texture on your skin that you want filled, like not to be exposed, you're gonna need to use a really good primer if you wanna use it with this foundation. It wasn't as concealing as I was hoping it would be. Um, just straight up. I There's a couple times when I was having really bad breakouts that I would still have to use a good concealer um, on top of this, just to kind of like mellow out my face color before I put on my normal skin foundation, whatever you want to call it, skin color foundation. Uh, I ain't mad about it though, considering it was like they were $3 a piece. So now that I know, probably wouldn't buy this product. Um, anyways, if you've made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider uh, thumbs up, being subscribing, doing all the things that make the YouTube algorithm happy and more likely to suggest my video to other people. And stay safe out there and stay cool out there. It is hot. Thank you.